tower has proven as dangerous as the Templars had warned. After what seemed an eternity of tense room-by-room -room searching, they stood in front of the first enchanter's office door. Sadly, all they did was stumble into a trap, getting entangled in a ferocious battle with a sloth demon. Once momentum seemed to be swinging in the Grey Warden's favor, the sloth demon let out a massive blast of ice-cold energy, taking half the party down in the aftermath. Will this be the end of the warning? Alright, we're going to start by reading the recap from the previous session. I was the one voted to do it this time, so this is in Morrigan's mind and in her voice. I knew walking in here I would be found out, though not in this manner. I was hoping to have the time to broach this topic with the others when they had proven reliable enough. Until now, it was only the golden-hearted airhead Dalish. A sweet girl with true conviction, but not enough awareness of the world. I believe she will go far someday if she doesn't drown herself in the rain. The senior sycophant was able to sense my other and ensured that all around could hear. Thankfully, the trainee fool has taken no vows and is not compelled to run me through. It made no matter. Drasov and Theodore stood up for me, with sensible reasoning that there are clearly far larger problems than myself to deal with. Avalyn, however, proved where her heart truly is, and accused me of everything under the sun. Unwilling to accept that she conveniently absolves herself of the weight of hard decisions, and pins the results on her betters. Perhaps I will find sustainment closer to home than I thought. It was not long before we found a demon of desire that had ensorcelled several of the Templars. We had given visions of a family and peaceful home while it fed on his soul. I was willing to leave this be. There are less enjoyable ways to meet your end. The others spent little time on decision-making and leapt to action. Those skilled at arms flew into battle, while those that preferred distance made use of the doorway for advantage. The succubus infiltrated the minds of those weak-willed who found themselves compelled to defend it. Even Nicola's beast was enraptured by it. I was unaware such magic could infect animals. The desire demon was quickly struck down with minimal harm to us or her slaves. They had been dominated for long. It will take time for their minds to return. It was asked if I could make use of their mental vulnerability. I was reasonably sure that I could. I've never done this to a living mind before, even ones this helpless. Rowan objected, of course. No qualms slaying his brethren when they threaten him, but now he decides to be noble. The worthlessness that this vile chantry instills in people. I am certain they are so indoctrinated and their own hypocrisy is lost to them, or indeed taught to be godly and just. Theo came to me as I was working my spell, interested if there was anything on this thrall that could be useful to him. I sensed a minor magical aura on a belt knife that was on the Templar. With the spell successful, my thrall returned to his feet and his... Muscle memory readied his weapon with perfect precision. I do love when an experiment works. Another sword arm to throw to the grinder, less risk for me. Rowan did his best to hide his intrigued stares. He is clearly very young in his training. I have no idea what he would have been taught, but he seems to view magic as so foreign. He does impress me with his book knowledge of such things, understanding spells and magical writings, but it seems to overwhelm him when he watches a cast. Perhaps he may be malleable in the future, as he is witnessing firsthand the failure of the Templar Order in the Circle. His misplaced compassion and his high and mighty morality disgust me, but there is skill and intelligence in his mind. I shall try to be lighter to him in the future, never overlook an opportunity. Having raided the library, Lucius urged us to secure the laboratory as well. As much as I would rather avoid spending time on a not-urgent task, I can understand his zeal in his pursuit of knowledge. Having proven beyond any of our assumptions with his curing of Eamon, acquiring more material for him to work with could go miles for our own survival. The lab was filled with corpses, as expected, and a half dozen ghouls gorging themselves. They were so overtaken in their gluttony that Theo slipped in unnoticed and expertly slew three of them before he was even noticed. He flung a bottle of purifying light at the remaining three one of which caught the brunt of the attack and had most of its flesh seared off. Having realized just how outmatched they were, they used all four limbs to scramble away from us. 
Drastov, Rowan, and Theo executed them all with hardly any resistance. I could not help myself but admire Theodore's exceptional physique and prowess with his blade. I am certain he caught my eye on him. I am glad that he did. It seems I am becoming surrounded with enemies. A like mind with deadly blade and pleasing body is surely needed. Lucius managed to recover several samples of pure lyrium, a blessing to have at our disposal. It was rationed out with the caster, so we each had a couple doses should we need it. The remaining Templars at the succubus ensnared were handed over to the instructor, Wynn. An impassioned outburst from Nicola convinced the bitch to allow us passage. She again pleaded to my company to cast me out. I am thankful I have made myself useful enough for them to go to bat for me. I made sure to leave a sample of my contempt at her feet as we walked by. I'm somewhat disappointed this conversation did not escalate. Our staff would have been useful. As we climbed the winding stairs, it seems we all started to feel the weight of the day on our shoulders. Even those in peak fitness were getting rose on their cheeks and shallower breaths. We all agreed that rest can wait as the oppressive clock hurries us onward. In the lobby of the third floor, we could feel the heat of the intense manna all around us. We near the summit of the tower, where our goal surely awaits. The carnage of the area grows more intense the higher we climb. The very ceilings are scarred with damage of slinging spells that occurred before our arrival. We must have observed the remains of hundreds of students, faculty, and Templar alike by now. Even one accustomed to death such as I is getting a case of the butterfly seeing so much brutality. Rowan and Lucius reviewed their map of the area while the rest of us took some time to get off our feet for a while. It was the deuce that further up lied to the west or south of us. Chanting could be heard as rituals were taking place around us. As before, Theo snuck into a room and began dispatching our enemies. However, these were not frightened teenagers or barely sentient undead. We were against demonic entities. As the violence erupted, Drastov hurled a bomb at the spell imbued on the floor, but had no effect. He then forced a flying monster into it, which was dissolved as the spell unleashed its fury on it. The two of them went to work on an insectile creature as Rowan and Avalon moved south to engage it on the Desire Demon. In the far corner of the room, what I was certain to be a demon of sloth poisoned the air in the doorway, forcing us to flee our safe position and move into the office, putting us all in tight quarters with each other. One of the human opponents we faced, a mage of some skill, was the subject of my wrath. I reached into his body through the fade and crushed his heart with my spirit. It felt so real, as if I pierced his chest with my own hand. I sent my thrall into the fray, presenting as many targets for our enemies as we could. Dressov and Theo were going to work with their blades and taking some minor hits back from the insectoid. Rowan's weak mind was again ensnared by a succubus, but only partially. He was not fully enamored by it, but I could see that he was unable to raise a hand against it. Nicola unleashed her bear as she charged the air with electricity, leaving horrid scorches in the bodies of our foes. The Nalfagi grunted, grunted its disgusting face with amusement as it raised its greasy hands. A tidal wave of supercooled water was thrown about the room when I could feel ice replacing my own blood. Barely able to stand, I was able to see I had not taken the worst of it. Drasta of Theo and Avalon were driven to the ground in this assault, no longer breathing. Surely their internals have gone into shock, lungs too frozen to draw breath. Lucius provided me first aid, slicing free flesh too frozen to serve its purpose, and giving me desperately needed heat to stop my body from shutting down. Thankfully, the monster paid no heed to its own minions, slaying the other mage and nearly destroying the other monsters we share the room with. I balance myself better and start to draw mana from the air. You will not die today while I still stand. And who has got the session or the recap this time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to roll a d7. We're going to go by the uh, alphabetical order in the Discord chat. <clears throat> Who gave it to me? It was Will, right? Yeah, it can't be me. Three. Who is three? Leon. Mm, Leon's Leon? got it. Leon, yeah. you've got the write-up. All right, well, everyone. If we're skipping Will, if we're skipping Will, it would be Nick, but I'll take it. 
No, we're not skipping Will. If it landed a two or a six, it would have been a reroll. Yeah, because I, 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 <laughs> so I gave it to V member. Why even include William in the app? Ah, whatever. Because I would have just rerolled rather than make it harder. All right. Okay. We are still in combat. We are picking up right in the middle of the battle. First up is the Desire Demon, which is on fire and is shrieking and writhing in pain as her body burns. She's already enslaved Rowan. Dress stuff is down. All right, Lucius, give me a will save. Lucius, as you watch the succubus burn to death and you have a satisfaction in your mind watching it writhe, you can see its body starting to fall apart. Its skin is turning black. It can barely breathe. It's looking at you, and you can see its eyes flash pink. And suddenly she looks as beautiful as she ever has before she ever began this fight. But you know better. You've already been subjected to this. You shake it out of your face. Evelyn, death save. Uh... You're rolling a raw d20. You have to beat a 10. Oh, yeah, that's right. Isn't this an 8 because of the, uh... Well, oh, oh, God. What oh. the fuck? <laughs> well, that's... Seriously, that's seriously. Goes... Okay, seriously. that's two failures. Adelin, as you went down with your body freezing, you can feel your lungs stop. Your heart is not working anymore. You are laying on the ground as your vision fades out, and you are struggling to breathe. And you feel your grasp on the life just fading out. That is two failures. Yep. Rest of your turn. Yep. Uh, bu -bu -bu. <laughs> Dress of feels the same thing. His body is giving out. He can't breathe properly. But you remember, dwarves have been through some more severe bullshit than this. I deserve to die in battle, not at the hands of some bullshit spell. And you force your eyes to start opening back up. Well, you are stabilized. Mm -hmm. Morrigan. She is looking at the health of her companions. Rowan, you are giving me a will save. Will save. She doesn't care about you. <laughs> Yes! Okay. <laughs> Throw a will save. I just did. Oh! It is a partial success, so she only takes a little bit from you. You can feel as you're struggling to get back to your feet after you got washed over with ice. All of a sudden, you feel almost as if you had blood taken out of your body. Like, two quarts of blood just drain out of you. You feel tired all of a sudden. You are going to take 12 points of damage. Theo, your eyes I don't can't stay you. open yeah, anymore. My saint Theo, you can't see anymore. You can't breathe. You are struggling to hang on. You know that if you could just get off the ground and start making your lungs move, you'll be all right. And all of a sudden, you feel a burst of energy come through you. You heal 12 hit points. Woohoo! The, uh, the monster that put you to the ground watched you fall down and is no longer paying you attention. It is engaged with Rowan. Rowan, you're... Oh, he rolled a four. He winds up and he swings as hard as he can, but he overswung. You easily deflect it with your shield. Second attack, he's coming at you with the tail. They fucking getting me. You can see him wind his tail up like a scorpion, and you can anticipate where it's going, and it darts at you. You just barely catch it and slams into your shield. You can see a tiny poison tip just trying to nail your arm through your shield. Nicola, Rowan suddenly oh, took okay. something, but it looks like Theo is starting to get off the ground, and you don't know why. Perfect. Uh, he looks like he's getting up. I'm going to move straight in to where uh, Avalon is and give her a healing pop. And same with um, Drastoff. I have, I think I've got four. 
You're gonna give him a potion? Yeah. You have one action to move, you have another to re to grab the potion. Right. So you can give it to one person. Cool. I'll give it to uh, Avalon. Alright. Avalon is rapidly dying. You can feel her body cooling, but you just roll her over on her side, you uncork that potion, and you just slam it into her mouth, you raise her head, and you kind of lean her body up to force it to go down her throat. Uh, roll a healing for it. Okay, what the... What, what is it? A D... It's a 2d8 plus 4. It's a minor healing. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Put this uh, slash R. There you go. Yeah, slash R, I don't know. Avalon, you recover 10 hit points as you find yourself being sat up forcefully, and Nicola just takes a glass bottle out of your mouth. Theo, you are still down, so it takes you one action to get up off the floor. Um, cool. The, uh, the bone monster has its oh. back to you. Do I not have my, my turn with Glaive? Yes, Glaith gets his action. What's he got? I will attack him with a bite. The yeah. bone monster? Go for it. Yes. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. That's damage. Okay. No, he's rolling damage. That, roll hit. That, isn't oh. a, that isn't a hit. No, it's just not a hit, isn't it? No, you, so you need to. You so just you rolled roll the damage. Out. You didn't roll the attack. Oh, shoot. That is not enough. Glade's teeth can't find anything sensitive to bite onto. Theo, it takes you one action to get up. You feel the pain in your body, but somehow you're getting up and you don't really know why. Because Von Drax are just bred differently. We don't fucking give in like that. Because my bloodline is too pure to die to this bullshit, goddammit. <laughs> uh, 20 Deception to gain <laughs> Panache. Uh, he has his back to you, so he's totally oblivious to you. Get you some. Cool. So it's, it's just it's just getting the panache. That's all, really. Um, oh yeah, you get it. I'm just saying he's not even aware of you. Woo! Ooh! Ye yeet, mother trucker. Ooh. Twenty nine. Uh, that's not a crit hit, but that's a solid fact, hit. Wait, no in fact. Is that thirty one because of the? the he is considered that. flanked. What's the, the buff with uh, being inside Rowan's thing as well? Plus sorry, one sorry. The attack roll. That's a 33 then? Yeah. Yeah. That is a critical hit. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you teach him to not turn his back on motherfucking Von Drax, son. And as he's turning around and he's engaging Rowan, you can see his tail slam into Rowan's shield. Rowan's starting to get driven into the ground. One of his knees is starting to buckle. Theo comes up behind it and just mm, just rams that rapier right through his back. You can see it pop out the front of his chest. It roars in pain, and you have violently as you can rip that rapier free. Ooh, that hurts. You got one action left. Oh, you just one for the deceit, right? Yeah, so so that is uh, that is me. That's all three. The Nalfajni. Uh, is unaware that Drastov is not dead, but sees Nikola trying to be nice to her companion, and is displeased with that. It lumbers its way over. It is still lazily flying in the air. I don't think I've got any reaction. It's gonna take a swing at Nikola. Nikola, you see the giant fat pig monster just wind up and get ready to rake you as hard as it can with its fists. It actually rolled a nat too. <laughs> Nicholas on a love streak today. I'm like, it gets no. one more swing. <laughs> it missed again. I'm matrixing this <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, this is your uh, lucky guys. You did his lucky fucking day today. Lucia. Alright. Um... First action, I cannot get in a melee with that fucking thing. Um, so is the thingy guy dead then, yeah? The tank boy? The did Thrall? Or... Yeah, did we kill him or not? No. The Thrall is alive, but Morrigan had to use all of her actions to <laughs> life drain somebody, so she wasn't able to command him. 
I, I just went, no, 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 sorry, the... That's good to you. Oh, the bone monster oh. is still alive, but it's, uh... It's eyes are fading out. That's fine. So, Avalon looks back... Avalon's back up. Drastoff is still down. Drastoff is down, but he looks like he's still breathing. Hmm, okay. Ugh. Avalon looks really wounded still. I yeah, Avalon looks really beat up, except for Morrigan. Okay. I All think right, Glade's so... still in good shape, right? Uh, he's no, Glade's pretty beat up. Yeah, Glade's pretty beat up, but I've got... How many actions is Battle Medicine? One to move, and then two to use. Two to use? Okay. Because you got to be... you got to touch somebody to do it, so you'll have to do one to move. Ugh. I want to get that damn desire demon off the fucking field. Then get the desire demon. She, oh, she's close to that. It's like... The desire demon is actually going to burn to death on its next turn, so it is out of combat now. It has. It's taking two persistent fire. It has one hit point left. All right. Um. I'll go ahead and do battlefield medicine on Avalon then. Nice. That is oh. a crit success. Nice, crit success is 48 and 20 for Battlefield Medicine. 48 plus 10. 48 plus 10. That is a huge heal. <laughs> Lucius is fucking motivated. Who are you healing? Avalon. Avalon. So 30 back. Combat Medic runs on up and just <laughs> starts rapidly cutting dead skin away, just sewing up wounds. No human should be able to do this, but hey... Avalon gains 30 hit points. You just put an iron on her. <laughs> it's just, like, it's just, uh, it's just, it's just a slap. You run over with a bottle of Tylenol and just slap it in her mouth. Like, you'll be fine. You got this, kid. Back in my <laughs> day, <laughs> such a bitch. Back in my <laughs> day, we didn't have battlefield medicine. Rowan. Everything yeah. seems to be coming up Millhouse. Avalon is slowly getting <laughs> off the ground. Ah, <laughs> oh, good God. Thank for that. Yeah, everybody freaked um, out about the unconscious white mage, apparently. Yeah, you guys were really freaking out. It wasn't necessary. The Nalfajni is nowhere near as dangerous now. And he basically right. killed half of his support. Well, I, for some reason, I've, I, I got drained of health, and I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> blame the succubus. <laughs> I just blame the succubus for that one. It was just quite coincidental that it came off at the same time as... <laughs> That's a perception check to put I, the two and two together. I, I have no <laughs> Tibetan magic, FYI. <laughs> That's what they all say. If he feels the, if he feels the check, he's going to think you're getting magic. Um, is there a way for me to go through here to do my charge? Wait, hang on. This is actually a door standing in front of you. The Nalfajni is above it because he's flying. Oh. So you guys are kind of battling around like a... Pretty much just like a little closet. Little closet. Hmm. It's a massive fucking... Well, movie. I suppose I gotta... I mean, he's he's not doing too well, is he? No, he's really fucked. And he was trying to, yeah. s to shank you. Yeah. Well... I think... Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna do an attack. Uh, so first attack. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the monster is just recovering from the violent stabbing that Theo put it put right through it, and as it's reeling in pain and trying to hold the stab wound in its chest, Rowan sees his chance. He puts all of his effort behind his sword. He swings it. He lets the momentum build, swings really hard, and slices right through the thing's throat. Its head violently rocks back at almost a 45-degree angle as blood just fountains off of the thing. And down it goes. Good Sorry hit. for stealing the kill. <laughs> you still got another action. You have yeah. two. Um, you get two actions. Shit, I'm just trying to... 
I'm just trying to think what the, what we got to do now. Um, because I can't just like go here or something to make sure um, Nicola doesn't get to. Hmm. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm out of there next route, next next time. <laughs> I'm taking my my battle <laughs> to distance. So how? Okay, so he's Can he's flying above this, is he? Yes. I'm assuming, could he go here and hit him? Potentially, like this, but here? He is 10 feet in yeah. the air, so you're gonna have to find a way to bring him down. Yeah. I've got no- oh, hang on, I do have like a ranged, um... I mean, I do have a heavy crossbow and a hatchet for range, but... <laughs> if you want to ready a different weapon, if you don't have quick draw, you need to spend an action getting another weapon ready. So you can still do yeah. it, but you'd be able to attack one time. Yeah. And then the next, and then the next turn, I'd have to ready my. Um, yeah, the quick draw feed allows field. you to switch as much as you want. Otherwise, it takes an action to ready a different weapon. Hmm. Or you can be a fucking hero and just run up and grab the motherfucker and try to pull him down to the ground. You can do that too. That would be pretty <laughs> goddamn awesome. It will, it will take a penalty due to the fact that you just attacked, but yeah, you could do it. You can try. You have to jump up there and then that would be a, an ath or it's an athletics check to try to wrestle the motherfucker down but it'd be pretty awesome if you did it you have to get up there hmm. <laughs> go, go the, the the dm is going to me to do it Should you I don't have it? the movement to get a running <laughs> jump up there that's going to be a very difficult check from a stand yeah um you could just ready to do something else for your next turn yeah. oh yeah you're no longer mind control oh the succubus is still alive yeah they're hurting your lady. <laughs> Actually, we're not. We're, we're letting her die in the fire. <laughs> yeah, but Rowan is still compelled by it. <laughs> so, well, I'm, I'm, com I'm compelled not to... You're compelled, compelled to not, not hurt it. it. You, you, yeah. you only had a very light failure. Yeah. Um, well, I'm, I'm just going to ready... I'm just going to ready... Uh, ready my shield so I just get the boost in... Um, in uh, Alright, so you take a defensive yeah. stance. Yeah. Plus the AC. Yeah. I think this is round six. The succubus, um, still engulfed in flames, is shrieking and just squealing in pain. And she is trying as hard as she can to fight the fire off of her until finally it becomes too much. And she collapses on the ground and rolls a little bit until she just stops moving as the fire takes over her body. Rowan, like, you, uh, fuck for that. you suddenly don't you see the succubus as just an evil thing again, instead of a beautiful lady. Avalon, you gotta spend an action to get up, but you are painfully getting back to your feet. Well, maybe not. Let me think. Just a quick question, because I want to check numbers with my character sheet. Um, when do I improve from trained in my class DCs? It depends on what you're... You're a war priest, right? Yeah. Uh, Six. Fuck, I think level I think. seven for you. Or level, no, wait, you're a war priest, so different DC scaling. So it's from that. Sure. Yeah, it's based Once on your trained, I can tell you. I can tell you that it's much. It's eleventh. Yeah. I just didn't know where I was looking for it. Okay. Well, are you able to play the soundtrack in the, the Twitch stream now? I mean. Fuck it, I'm doing it. Like, Sean made a very, a very good point. That yeah. it's, it's game music. It's not as if it's like hmm. actual music from other artists. I doubt it's, that it is thingy die. It's, it's, it's game music. So yeah, I'm just playing it, man. Like, there's no point. No point. Well, good. I, I was feeling bad. Like, I put a lot of effort into the soundtrack, and the Twitch stream doesn't get to hmm. hear it. Hmm. All right. Well, the only person that's down at this point is Dressov. Dressov looks like he's breathing, but he definitely looks unconscious. Everyone else looks pretty beat up, but they're on their feet. While still prone on the ground, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold up my emblazoned gauntlets and cast a and cast a three action heal. Mm. At level. Uh, everyone, including Morgan, will get Yeah, buddy. Including this guy, except he has taken no damage. So who cares? And again, I roll shit. Well, 11 hit points is 11 hit points. Over several people is a lot of hit points. Exactly. All right, everyone around Avalon gets 11. 
Everybody gets 11. It's a 30 foot radius. Does that reach yeah. Oregon? It touches it does, Oh. Five, okay, so sweet. Yeah. Oregon's at full. That's that so perfect. I was gonna say, I don't even think she was missing 11, not for my super heal. She took Ruin. like, yeah, she had three damage on her still. Now she's at full. Rowan's almost got his damage back. <laughs> 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 what is Glad's well, maximum yeah. HP? Um, let me just double check. You haven't been uh, keeping it on the, his token bar properly. 53. What is it? Where is it supposed to be? If you look at the. Uh, if you cl click on him and then the little gear, the token bar for bar one we use for hit points. The left is his current and the right is his maximum. Bar three, the oh, red right. one, we always use for AC. Right, okay. So there we go, now it's tracked properly. This way your health is reflected as a bar that goes up and down so you can see it. Yeah, it says on the bar 23 or 53 or whatever. I just fixed it. It was 23 out of 12. That's why I'm right. like, that's something not right. Drasov, you can start opening your eyes and your lungs are starting to draw breath again. You know, I'm too old as, for this shit. Drasov is not that old. That being said, as much as I would like to go and beat the shit out of this guy, uh, uh, there's something significantly more expedient to do, which is a uh, an action to stand up. I'm going to move over there. Pray that this guy doesn't have vision because I'm moving next to basically the wall. Or he just doesn't care. He does and not have a tax of opportunity. Excellent. And now I have an action left. I'm actually can I crawl? I can't. Not, I'm not on 30 foot speed. I'm a dwarf. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> uh, hmm. Theodore, how would you like to be thrown up there? <laughs> yes! What? Yeah. Nobody tosses uh, up to Vinter. To, Nobody to, tosses to, up to, on that! Wait, don't, don't, well, tell, right. don't, don't tell the elf! <laughs> tell the human. Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't this be the other way around? Uh, <laughs> Ain't nobody <laughs> throwing trash <laughs> tub. Yeah, I can't fucking throw trash tub. I'm gonna boost Theo up there with athletics to basically shove him up there. <laughs> there you go. Move yeah. Up, bitch. So out of curiosity, if I've got spells that are 30, 30 feet, but I'm standing here so I catch like these arrows, does that count as a? a if thing? you catch any of the square that he's standing in, it applies. You don't have to hit the center mass if he's that big. It's cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go throw Theo, boost him up. <laughs> so you can go kill this guy. All right, Mori. You want me to roll Maury. anything, or is it just, is it well, just... you don't have to do anything? Cool. I just You're gonna to have to do the roll on your turn to not like fall on the floor. Okay, Mori. Mori is gonna use her thrall. there. He can't hit anything, but he's going to keep him there. As for spells, she starts to move her hands around. Then Nalfaji has to make a fortitude save. He'll probably pass, but she's got to try. The Nalfaji suddenly looks uncomfortable and grunts and burps really loud, but doesn't seem to be affected. Morrigan cusses. God damn it. Bone monster is down. Take a look. I'm going to move back here and I'm going to go bitch. Have a <laughs> hero medicine. And I'm going to hit him with a... Uh, oh, I'm on glaive, never mind. I'm going to hit him with a... Uh, Aye, a rear frost just now. Give him a little bit, a little bit back. That was shit damage, but it certainly applied. Yes. A sling of freezing water fires out of your fingertip and it slams him in the belly. You look unhappy with you. That's a two-action spell. That's you. Glaze gets one move. Uh, I'm... I'm... Gonna play... Gonna move 
ten. Uh, I'm gonna move him over there behind this guy just now because he's obviously not fully healed just yet. So. All right, Theo. Dressed off is down on a knee, ready to boost you into the air. Let's go, bro. You back up, you get ready, you start to run, you plant your foot firmly in Drastov's hands. Drastov throws his arms up in the air and flings you into the air. You are flying with your rapier ready. Give me an attack roll. Do I get panache? Because this is like teamwork. This is pretty goddamn awesome if you land the attack. You are sailing through the air. You are ready to Fuck grab me. the dude, and you plant your rapier into his neck, and you use it to land on his body. You get a good grip. You will most certainly gain a panache for that. That was a nasty hit. Fucking hell. Oh, man. That almost almost was ready to change the music. Oh, <sighs> God. That was a lot of... See, we, we get good on the attack rolls. We get good on the attack rolls, but uh, when it comes to fucking trying to save... Your guys' fucking saves line. are fucking terrible. <laughs> but your attacks are... Right. You guys are all offense. You are the Chicago Bears of D&D. No defense whatsoever. <laughs> Wait. Um, yeah, I know. Well, that's Chicago, me. <laughs> Chicago Bears did have a good defense, but let's not get into it because we both know that one, Nikki. Uh, they have really, in the last 20 years, decided that offense is the way to play, but that's not how you win football. Yeah. They are all offense and no defense. Exactly. That, that's what you guys are right now. Um, you so, are yeah. landed on him right now with your rapier as a good anchor point. He is not happy with you, and he's trying to, like, with his left hand, lazily bat you off of him. So am, am I am I impaled the rapier in him or Yes. But you are climbing on his body right now. You can freely attack him again. I'm gonna so how, how how far am I up his body at the moment? You are basically embedded right over his shoulder. Like you stabbed him basically in the collarbone. Cool. I wanna get nuts. I wanna get right no, because if I attack again with like a minus five, aren't I? Because I've already done acrobatics, I've already attacked once. So I'm going to take that at minus five. Um, I've got panache as a worth it. Yeah. Good shit talking. <laughs> Just whisper in his ear. Use a little bitch. <laughs> Fuck it, man. Mama didn't raise no bitch. I'm a f I'm fucking through of Vakwa on track. You so fucking die by my hand, you filthy peasant! <laughs> Uh, not with the minus five. Yeah, well. Dude, that's with minus five. Oh, that is with the yep. minus five. That yes, minus that five. will land. That will land. His AC yeah, is not enemy. very high. Yeah, Probably, not enemy. Probably not a crit, but hey, it's still good damage. It's not a crit, but it's definitely more damage. Would the last one have been a crit? No, the last one was not a crit. Not even with a plus. <laughs> it was very, very close. So what, if AC is... Hit five or 36 or something? Yeah, 26, I think. That's pretty good. I was going to say, because the plus one might have helped. But... The Nalfajni is not happy with you stabbing the shit out of him, and he's going to reach over and attempt to grab you. Give me an athletics check. <laughs> he will grab you, and he's going to pick you up, and he's going to fling you across the room. Give me uh, an acrobatics to try to brace yourself for the hit. Um, would it not be reflex? No, or do you want to do acro? I, I don't mind whatever one. If I'm if I'm reacting, it's your call. Fuck it, get out of here! But do you want to know what else is great? Do you want to know what else is great, V? Do you want to know mm. why you're going to love me? Fucking come at me! What are you going to fucking do? I'm nimble as a fucking cat. You're not falling. You're getting flung into a yeah, wall. Yeah, but you're still falling though. You're 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 falling ten feet, but you are getting forcibly slammed into the wall. It's not the fall damage that's hurting you, it's the impact. Mm. But you do brace for the attack because you did a good job on the acrobatics. So he grabs you and just uh, just flings you and you smash into the bookshelf over here. But you see it coming, you tuck, you put kind of the side of your body into it and you get your, you ready your, the pauldron on your shoulder to take the impact. So you take only 12 damage from the impact. It really hurts, but it could have broken some bones. But now he's free and he's ready to attack. 
Who's he going for? He saw the front person cast a heal spell. He did see the one person cast the heal, but she's now farther away. As I for Avalon or the Snow. He's got a variety of targets. We're just going to roll for it. One, two, three, four. You five. should hit the dwarf. Don't hit anyone else. Hit the dwarf. He rolled a four. Hit. He's going for Avalon. Uh, oh, he God. slowly flies over to her and he reaches up and gets ready to try to crush you into the ground. Well, it's a good thing I'm already prone. Arms up, blocking. <laughs> oh, your AC is. He just barely missed your AC. You get ready, you're like, oh god, this is gonna hurt. You put your shield up just in time. He overhead tries to just like monkey punch you, and the bone crushing force of his hits. But you've trained it. It hurts, but it didn't really harm you, Lucius. You saw Theodore fly past your face. No, those books. He broke all my books. <laughs> oh, God, it's getting closer. Um, <laughs> it's right in front of you. <laughs> and uh, he likes ice. I like fire. Let's warm him up a little bit. Uh, we're going to throw an alchemist fire at him. Nice <laughs> brew. Eh. 15, 15, you throw, and it doesn't hit anything important. His body is so fucking greasy that the bottle almost slides away as it collides into his body. But he'll take the splash. Hmm. Uh, he is noticeably struggling to keep himself in the air. His wings are flapping much harder than they were. Ah, uh, fuck it, we'll do it again. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> Same problem. 20. No. More splash. Very light damage. You moved away, so that is you. Rowan. Yep. All right. Um, I can't reach him from, from here and try to grab oh. him to bring him down, can I? Would you like the speed escalator way of going upstairs? Lay your turn until after mine if you want that. Yeah, Dressov can fling you into the air, but you'd have to wait mm. till his turn. You just delay until after me. It's not far away, it's just a couple turns away. Besides, the enemy doesn't go before either of us, so it's fine. Yeah, because the succubus is dead, so... Uh, okay. Delay yeah. till after me. We'll do that. All right, Rowan is going to delay action, so that is the start of round eight now. Rowan is going to take a 23.1 for his turn order. That puts Adelin, you're up. The Nalfajni tried to crush you into the ground. You just barely rolled the hit away with your shield. Yeah. I saw it, but I'm actually disarmed right now because I was unconscious. But that's fine. I saw it throw Theo. Right, and then dodge the crush. Uh, I'm actually kind of angry now. <laughs> Avalon smash! So this thing is still flying? Yes. So it's out of my reach. It seems to be struggling to fly, but it's still in the air. Uh, yeah, because I can get that back in, the, in a 10 minute refocus. Um... From, I'm gonna stand up, finally, and I'm going to lament right at the thing. So I need it to make me a basic will save as I banshee's whale. And unfortunately, I could not rage and not and do this in the same turn. It's sad. Here's the Lincoln Park. We need it now. <laughs> Touch your fucking mouth. Hey, 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 hey. I recommend that, that combination. I'm, uh, you know, I'm gonna reiterate that I open the thread for people to submit theme songs for other characters. <laughs> if we can get them agreed upon, I'll add them to the track list. I think both me and the have Oh, uh, yeah, I've, I've already questions. done mine. <laughs> yeah, both of us did our job. Alright, do you have to make a will save or the Malfashion Yes. Alright. 
Oh, come on, fail for me. I actually didn't roll shit. <laughs> no, that's not getting anywhere. His will save is quite high. Uh, that pisses me off. Okay, well, um, I believe it is safe for half. My Lamette thingy actually doesn't say. Um, it's basic, which means save for half. Critical failure is double. Critical success is nothing. Half is half, so that's nine. Yeah, but that feels nowhere near as good. Every little bit adds up. It's chip damage. Chip, chip damage. damage adds up fast, man. Especially when you're the one taking it. Dress up. Hey, action one. I'm going to spend an action to make this my hunted bitch. Action hunted two. Bitch. Been take down with my light pick because my actual pick is still, you know. Lying down there, being sad, but that's okay. I'll use the Junior pick, which I think that might be one hit, but not two. And for my third action, I'm You can hit him from him. here? He's still in the air. Oh, he's, oh, he's still in the air? Yeah, he's still flying. That, that's, that's rather unfortunate. Let's see. Oh god, I need to get myself a reach weapon. Might can be you to buy <laughs> Uh, you need your I could throw it, but no. Spears and stuff kind of suck in D&D, but they are great weapons. They deal D10 damage, they could. They have a minimum range, though, don't they? No. They just give you reach traits. Means throw it or use it. Yeah, it might be picking up an older edition. Maybe. Uh, anyway, where was I? I'm just going to get my tower shield, I'm going to raise it, then provide cover, and for my last action, I'm going to provide jumping assistance to Rowan and Theo. Because <laughs> if it works once, we'll do it three times. You're gonna give me your athletics check? Oh, please don't fail this and just throw them on I'm the just floor. Going to, I'm just going to brace my tower shield with it, so... Uh, not terrible. It's good enough. All right, Rowan. Jump bad. Dressed off. After he flung Theo into the air, you can see what the plan is. He gets down on one knee, puts both his hands on his knee up, looking at you, and he's just kind of swinging his head towards the monster. All right. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I will do the same thing. All right. That is going to be an athletics from you. But the DC is not going to be tough. Right. Oh, nice. you're on there. Yeah. Give me an attack roll and you get a plus three because that was an awesome win right there. Awesome. Silk de Soleil. Oh, shit. Oh, you're fucking dead. All right. Hold on a moment. 35, 36. I don't know these people too well, but you fucking hurt them. Dress up, dead flings dead. Rowan in the air. Rowan is perfectly jumping at the right moments. You've never trained for anything like this, but goddamn, training seems pretty goddamn boring now that you look <laughs> back on it. <laughs> Rowan is flying through the air. He puts his sword behind him. You can feel the weight of the air behind you. And just as you're about to impact the body of the monster, you ram your right arm forward, and you expertly place it. Your sword goes right through his left eye. And as he's falling through the, falling to the ground, he smashes into the floor. You rip your sword out of him. He's roaring at you. You take it, and you just spike it into his other eye. Rip it freely, and he is just laying on the ground, bleeding out. He stops moving. Congratulations, everyone.